Hey, what's up everybody? It's been a while. It's good to see you again. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I wanna talk about my new tool. This is the DJI Mini 3 Pro, and it's my very first drone. And I've been interested in a drone for a very long time, but up until now, I really felt like there wasn't a drone that really fit my needs. When I think about the practicality of a drone, it has to be something small and nimble and something that I can just pick up and take with me alongside all of my other camera gear. And when I think about like the use cases for a drone, you know, I, I came to the realization that, you know, aerial shots are really, really cool, but they're such a small part of an overall project or film. And so I never felt like I needed to have a drone of my own. I would always just borrow one from my friends or use the one at work. But now I have my very own and I'm really, really excited to talk about why I think this is like the very first drone that I could see myself using regularly, both like just at home and around the house as well as on projects. And so let's dive in and see what this drone is all about. When I first got this box, I was like very surprised at how small it is. And I think this is what excites me. Like, all that you need to operate the drone is inside this very, very small box. So, so let's dive in together. I, I haven't seen the drone yet. It still has the plastic wrapping around it, but let's open it up right now. Look at how small this is. This is the actual drone right here. And then sort of funny is the, the remote is heavier and it takes a larger footprint than the actual drone. See what's really amazing is how small this is. I've never owned any other drone, so uh, I always have this idea in my mind that drones need to be huge and bulky in order to uh, be powerful enough to get the shots that you want, uh, big enough to like hold a very, very uh, long battery. But this one is super tiny. It's a very compact, it's more compact than you think it's going to be. And so this is the RC controller. This is heavier than the drone. And I opted to get the dedicated uh, controller because I just don't like the idea of my phone uh, being used in a, kind of like a double duty sort of way uh, because I just don't want to deal with notifications or emails when I'm actually capturing footage with, with the drone. However, I've heard that there are some pros and cons to using this controller that has to do with either the range or just the overall functionality between how DJI has set up the app. So I'm curious to know more about that. So why drones in general and why specifically the Mini 3 Pro? Uh, drones are really, really useful in getting shots that you wouldn't be able to get otherwise. Uh, to be able to place a camera in the air and get pretty much any angle that you need and it being able to capture uh, a high quality image, an image that is usable in, in client projects, um, on YouTube, that's what I've been waiting for with the Mini 3 Pro. Uh, initially, when it first came out, I read that it didn't include 10-bit color, but in a firmware uh, update, it now does include 10-bit. It also gives me the ability to record 4K at 60 frames per second so that I can get those slow motion shots, I can get those really, really nice cinematic shots. And the fact that the batteries last so long on this, you can get at least 25, 30 minutes on the smaller battery. And by the way, I'm getting the Fly More kit that's coming in later. Uh, but with the larger batteries, you can get up to 40 minutes. That sounds fantastic. I have a couple of projects lined up that will utilize kind of the the ability, uh, the the newfound creativity that I can get from a drone. So this is why I felt like this was a great time to buy it. Drones have become sort of ubiquitous in the filmmaking industry. You can uh, get one for really, really cheap now, and they're super high quality. And yeah, like it's a smaller sensor size comparatively to my other cameras, but um, the low light capability the ability to um, pretty much go out a mile or two in order to get the, any footage that you want um, is a really, really cool 
thing. See the real beauty of this thing? Is that I think I can get it all to fit into this, this Peak Design bag right here. This is their smallest one, I think, right? How would I do this? Let's see here. I guess I would put this in here like this. And yeah, with a small divider, that's it. My drone can fit into the three liter Peak Design bag and I'm good to go. Just put the battery in there and I'm all set. And so this is, so there you go. I can put all the cables inside, everything that I need to make sure that this works in the field is all in this three liter bag. I could put this in my larger bags. I can just take this on my shoulder. It's a fantastic reality when drones can be the size of your hand. It's not too bulky, it's not too heavy. So yeah, that's the overall goal for this tool. It's, it's just another tool that I want to be able to use in my repertoire of, of uh, options. And it gives me additional storytelling avenues where I can create environmental storytelling. I can create transitions. I can think about how to capture place and location and to give the setting of a story. Um, and so, I'm really excited to learn and explore it. So in a future video, I will share with you some of my explorations of what a drone can do. Um, I haven't used one extensively, so I'm excited to like kind of be a beginner to drone um, filmmaking. And so I'm excited about that. Let me know what you thought about this video. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'll catch you in the next video.